Hello everyone. Today we will discuss a lesson for class 10th from first flight and the name of the lesson is A Letter to God by G. L. Fuentes, A Small Introduction. This is the story about the farmer named Lencho. Lencho has a complete faith in God but due to the heavy hailstorm his field was totally destroyed and he had nothing to eat for the whole year. He was completely disheartened and was left with only one hope. He decided to write a letter to God. In that letter, he wrote that God, please help me and my family. I will go hungry this year and requested God to send him some pesos. Here pesos means currency of a Latin American country and we can say that this whole story is related to the Latin American country. Let us begin. We will read the story and I will explain the word meaning and the story as we go on. So let's start. The house, the only one in the entire valley, set on the crest of the hill. From this height, one could see the river and the field of ripe corn dotted with flowers that always promised a good harvest. This means there was only house on the crest. On the crest means... Chris means top of the hill and from that height a person can see the river and the field of ripe corn covered with the flowers which was grown by Lencho and here the flowers are the sign of good harvest. This means that the crop of this year is very good. Okay. The only thing the earth needed was a downpour or at least a shower. Throughout the morning, Lencho, who knew his field intimately, had done nothing else but see the sky towards the northeast direction. Here the word downpour means heavy rainfall. Shower means mild, rain intimately means closely. Okay, now this paragraph is saying that the farmer has done all his work. Now he needed a water and for getting a water, the farmer is totally dependent upon the rain. Main, two words are used for the water. First is downpour, another is shower. shower. From the morning, Lencho has done nothing in his field but was looking towards the sky in the northeast direction because from that direction, wind will come along with the rain. Okay? Now we are really going to get some water. Woman, the woman was preparing supper, replied, Yes, God willing. The older boys were working in the field while the smaller ones were playing in the house until the woman called to them all, Come for dinner. It was during the meal that just as Lencho had predicted, big drop of rain begins to fall. Okay, the word woman is used for Lencho's wife. Lencho said to his wife that now we will get some water. We will get some rainfall. The woman preparing a food supper means food 
replied, Yes, if God is willing. Lencho's older sons were working in the field and the smaller ones were playing near the house. This was happening until the woman called them for the dinner. When they were having the meal, rainfall started as Lencho predicted. As Lencho predicted, rainfall started. In the northeast, huge mountain of clouds could be seen approaching. The air was fresh and sweet. The man went out for no other reason than to have the pleasure of feeling the rain on his body. And when he returned, he exclaimed, These aren't raindrops falling from the sky. They are new coins. The big drop is 10 cent and little one are fives. Okay? So, from the northeast direction, the huge clouds can be seen approaching. And the air was like very fresh and sweet. The man, means Lencho here, went out to feel the pleasure of the rain drops on his body. When Lencho came back, he exclaimed that, Falling drops from the sky, they are new coins. They are like a new coins. The big drops are 10 cent and the smaller ones, or we can say that, and the small drops are 5 cent. With satisfied expression, he regarded the field of ripe corn with its flowers trapped in a curtain of rain but suddenly a strong wind begins to blow and along with a large hailstorm begins to fall. These truly did resemble new silver coin. The boys, the boys exposing themselves to the rain ran out to collect the frozen pearls. This paragraph says that after the rainfall, Lencho was very satisfied. He imagined or he can see that his field of ripe corn with flowers is covered with the curtain of flowers. But after some time, the large wind started blowing with a very, with a heavy hailstone. These hailstones were shown as the new silver coin. The children of Lancho ran out to collect the frozen pearls. To, frozen pearls means pieces of that hailstorm which were fallen on the ground and were looking as a silver coin. It is really going bad now, exclaimed the man. I hope it passes quickly. It did not pass quickly. For an hour, the hail rained on the house, the garden, the hillside, the cornfield, on the whole valley. The field was white as if covered with salt. Now the situation was really getting worse and worse, said the man. Because everyone knew that the excess of anything can destroy a person, can destroy the field also. Here, the excess of hailstorm is destroying the Lencho's field. Lencho hopes that it passes quickly, but this did not happen. It did not pass quickly. For an hour, for one hour, these hailstones were falling on the house, on the garden, on the cornfield, and on the whole valley. The, 
the entire valley or the place where Lancho lives was covered with a white soil. It looks like. It looks alike. Not a leaf remained on the trees. The corn was totally destroyed. The flowers were gone from the plants. Lento's soul was filled with sadness. When the storm had passed, he stood in the middle of the field and said to his son, A plague of Locustus, Locustus would have left more than this. The hail has left nothing this year. This year, we will have no corn. Okay. This paragraph says that no leaf was remained on the tree. The whole field was destroyed. The flowers were gone from the plant. Lentos soul was filled with sorrow sadness after the storm has gone he stood in between the field and said to his son the insect of plague loctis means the insect which flies on a flies in a group and destroy crops he said that the insect of plague would have left more in the field. This means the insect which flies in the group can also left can also leave something in the field. But this hailstorm has destroyed the entire field. This hailstorm has destroyed the entire crop which I have grown. That night was a sorrowful one. All our work for nothing. There is no one who can help us. We will all go hungry. But in the heart of all who lived in that solitary house, in the middle of the valley, there was a single hope. Help from God. Lencho said that whole light went into the sadness because if somebody's hard work is being failed the person cannot sleep for the whole night and the same thing happened with lencho as he was the hard worker he worked like an animal in his own field it's okay as your work gone in vain there is no one to help us. He said that nobody will come to help us. We will go hungry. We won't be having any food. Nobody will be providing us anything for our livelihood. The person who were living in that solitary house, solitary house, solitary house means alone or a single house have left with only one hope and that is help from God. Don't be so upset. Even though this seems like a total loss, remember no one dies of hunger. He said to his family members that don't be so sad. Don't be so upset. God will never let us or anyone die with hunger, God will help us. Indirectly, he wants to say that God will, sorry, God will help us. Okay. All through the night, Lencho thought only of his one hope. The help of God, whose eyes as he had been instructed See everything, even what is deep in one consents. Lencho was an ox of a man. 
Lento was an ox of a man walking like an animal in the field, but still he knew how to write. Okay, that full night when home hailstorm passed away, his fields were totally destroyed. Lento was not able to sleep. He was only thinking about one hope, and that is God. Because he knows that God eyes knows everything. God knows everything. What is going inside the person? What is going inside the person? Okay. Lencho was a hard working person. He works like an animal in the field. After this, he knew how to write. Okay, an ox of man means hard working person. Lencho was really a hard person, hard working person. And after all this situation, after all these surroundings, Lencho still know how to write. Okay. The following Sunday at daybreak, he began to write a letter which he himself would carry to town and place in the mailbox place in the mail it was nothing less than a letter to god okay next day when sun rises he starts writing a letter which he himself took to the town and placed it in the mailbox it was just we can simply say that it was just a letter to God. God, he wrote, If you don't help me and my family, I will go hungry this year. I need 100 pesos in order to saw my field again to live until the crop comes because the hail strong. He wrote in the letter, God, please help me and my family. If you won't be helping us, we will be going hungry. He said, he requested God, please provide me 100 pesos so that I can sow my field again to live, to earn my livelihoods. Until the crops come. Because of the hailstorm, his crop were totally destroyed. His field was totally destroyed. He wrote to God on envelope, put the letter inside and still troubled. Went to town. At the post office, he placed a stamp on a letter and dropped it into the mailbox. Okay. On the top of the envelope, he wrote to God. He put the letter inside that envelope, but still he was totally troubled. He was think like his mind was totally shaked due to this hailstorm, which has totally destroyed his field. But still he went to the post office. He placed a stamp on a letter and dropped it into the mailbox. One of the employees who was a postman and also helped at post office went to his boss laughing heartily and showed him a letter to God. Never in his career as a postman had he known that address okay there was an employee who does different different work in the post office saw the letter and when he just read what is written on the top of that envelope he started laughing he took that letter to the postmaster he said that I have never seen this address in my entire life. 
when he just took that letter to the postmaster he said to the postmaster i haven't seen this kind of address in my entire life in my entire career okay the postmaster a fat amiable fellow also broke out laughing but almost immediately he turned serious and tapping the letter on his desk commented what faith i wish i had the faith of man who wrote this letter starting up a correspondence with god okay this paragraph says that the postmaster was friendly person amiable means friendly and pleasant the postmaster was friendly person after watching the letter he also started laughing very badly but soon he turned serious but soon he turned serious he start knocking a letter on the desk and said what a faith and he said that i could have the same faith in god as this person has how he is and he says that how he is communicating with god through letters and he want that the god should give the reply okay so in order not to shake the writer's faith in god the postmaster came up with an idea answer the letter but when he opened it it was evident that to answer it he needed something more than good will ink and paper okay so the pay, so the postmaster decided that he should not the postmaster decided that the fate of the person should not be broken he decided to reply the letter but when the postmaster opened that letter he was shocked when he he was shocked when he opened the letter because instead of good bill that person wants something more and that thing was 100 pesos that means money okay but he stuck to his resolution resolution means decision he asked for money from his employees his he himself gave part of his salary and several friends of his were obliged to give something for an act of charity after seeing the letter and after reading the letter and knowing that what that person wants postmaster stuck to his decision he asked for the money from his employees and give some part of his income some part of his income and several friends of the postmasters were very happy to perform an act of charity it was impossible for him to gather together the 100 pesos so he was able to send to farmer only little more than half he put money in the envelope addressed to lancho and with it a letter containing only a single word as a signature god okay uh, actually it was impossible for the uh, postmaster to gather that much amount 100 pesos but the, the amount which he gathered was more than half rupee like more than half rupee which he has demand which he has demanded he has demanded only 100 he has demanded 100 peso but they were able to collect more like little more than half little more than half that means if the person has demanded 100 peso the half of 100 peso will be 
50 but they have given more than 50 to the lencho and put that pesos into the envelope addressed it as lencho and there was single word written in that letter was the signature god the following sunday lencho came a bit earlier than usual to ask if there was a letter for him it was the postman himself who handed the letter to him while the postmaster experiencing the contentment of man who has performed a good deed looked on from his office. Okay, on Sunday, Lencho came earlier to the post office asked that if there is any letter for him, the postman who first laughed on seeing the letter himself gave him that envelope himself gave that envelope and the postmaster was looking all these things from his window from inside and postmaster was feeling happy as he has done something good for the person. Lencho showed not the slightest surprise on seeing the money. Such was the confidence. But he become angry when he counted the money. God could have made. God could not have made a mistake. Nor could he deny Lancho what he had requested. Okay, when receiving an envelope and opening that envelope, Lancho was not surprised that God has given him the money. But when he counted that money, at that time, Lencho becomes angry because he has demanded only 100 peso. Because he has demanded 100 peso and out of that 100 pesos, he only gets 70 pesos. And he said that while providing the money, God could never ever make the mistake and nor I can make any mistake. Okay. Immediately, Lencho went to the window to ask for pen and paper. On the public writing table, he started to write. With much wrinkling his eyebrows, caused by the effort he had to, he had to make to express his ideas. Immediately, when he knew that the money provided to him is less than 100 peso, he went to the window, asked for the paper and pup, paper and pen. He started writing a letter on he started writing a letter, moving his eyebrows here and there and creating an expression of idea. When he finished, he went to the window to buy the stamp, which he licked and affixed to the envelope of his fist. When after finishing the letter, he went to the window to have the envelope. He put that letter into the envelope, into the envelope and lit that envelope so that and that envelope could get closed. Okay. The moment the letter fell into the mailbox the postmaster went to open it it said god of the money that i asked you that i asked for only 70 pesos reached me send me the rest since i needed it very much but don't send it to me through the mail because the post office employees are bunch of crooks Okay, without knowing the fact that God has not sent him the money, uh, he uh, wrote the letter and in that letter he wrote that the God which, you, God which you have sent me the money, these are only 70 pesos. I need the full amount, like I need 100 pesos. and But this time, don't send me the money through the mailbox. And as you... 
uh, as the post office member are the crook and they want to be giving me the whole money crook means cheat that means they will take out the money and give me the less amount which you will be sending me okay thank you for watching my video like share comment and subscribe